By posting faceless whiteboard videos, this YouTube channel gains lots of views and earned over $2,000 in the last 30 days. So in this video, I'll show you how you can get ideas and create videos for a channel like this using my super simple and super free method. So the first thing you need to do is get ideas for your video. I will tell you just right off the bat, this method works best for explainer videos. And you could get these ideas by just using anything that you could think of in your head that you may want to explain something that you preferably maybe know already, or you could scroll scroll through YouTube, see what you could use as inspiration, and then go from there. But once you have your ideas, the next thing you need to do is generate the script for your video. Now, in order to go about doing this, you can do it in two different ways. The first way would be by coming on over to ChatGPT and then asking it for this prompt. Write me a length script for a whiteboard YouTube video about, and then here you're going to explain the video concept or idea, and then you're going to say explain it, and then you're going to give a description of the contents of the video, give the images and icon suggestions, for each scene and the voiceover. So this is a template you're going to use. All you want to do is fill in the brackets. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it something like this. Write me a 10 line script for a whiteboard YouTube video about not wasting your youth spending money. Explain it using an analogy. Give the images and icon suggestions for each scene and the voiceover. And I just want to say I really love the word analogy because I feel like it really breaks down the concepts in a way that people can truly understand. But then once you have your prompt, you're just going to go ahead and hit enter. And now just just like that, as you can see, ChatGPT has gone ahead and given me the 10 line script like I asked for. But more specifically, if we take a look at one of them, for example, scene number two, as you can see, it's told me the image that I would need to use in my video. And then it's also given me the voiceover. So that breaks down everything I need to do to actually create the video. Now, the second way you can go about getting the script is by creating your own script in a notepad. If you're creative enough and you want to use your own thought, then just go ahead to do that. You choose whichever method works best for you. Now, once you have your script ready it's time to move on to the next step the next step is generating the voiceover for your video now you can also go about doing this in two different ways the first way would be coming on over to 11 labs you could find the link for it in the description once on 11 labs we're going to have an ai voice save the script for us so you want to ensure that you're in speech synthesis and then once on this page under where it says settings you want to click this first drop down arrow and then you're going to go through all the voices play them and then see which one that you like and that you would like to use in your video. And then once you have your voice selected, you can play with the voice settings if you want, but you don't need to do that. So the next thing you need to do is enter the script for your video. So coming back over to ChatGPT, this would be here where it says voiceover. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to just use my own simple little script. So I'm going to go ahead and simply just copy this. This is my voiceover and then paste it into 11 Labs. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is click generate. And then 11 Labs will generate the voiceover for you. Let's see what it sounds like. Three steps to being happy. He sounds very passionate about this, so I, I love it. And one thing I will recommend in the case that if you are using the ChatGPT script, I do recommend that you generate it scene by scene because it makes it way easier for when you're editing. What I mean by that is you would copy the first scene and then you would simply paste it in and then you would hit generate. And after it's generated that one, you would go ahead and copy the second scene, paste it in and then generate it. So that's the first way you can go about generating your voiceover. The second way you can go about generating your voiceover is by recording your own voice. Many of you tend to not want to use AI voices. Do not let that stop you from starting a faceless channel. Don't let that stop you from following my method you can use your own voice if you want so now that you have the script and the voiceover the next thing you need to do is begin creating the video now in order to do this it's actually really simple when i show it to you you're going to be like wow monique that was actually really simple but in order to do this we're going to be using canva you could find a link for canva in the description below now once on canva what you want to do is come over to this page and then do a search for youtube video and then once you've done that, you're going to click over here where it says create a blank YouTube video. And then it's going to take you to this page. Now that we're here, I'm going to show you two different ways you can go about creating the whiteboard video. The first way is easy. And then the second way is even easier. So the first way would be by doing it manually. Now you need to think about what you want your scene to look like. You need text, images, icons, pretty much whatever you could find to make your scene look better. So within our first scene, it says three steps to being happy. And I say I want a smiley face in there. So the first thing we need to do is add in the text for the scene so in order to add in a text you're going to click where it says text and then you're going to click add a heading and then it's going to insert this into your scene then from here you can go ahead to delete this go back to wherever you have your script and copy it 
come on back over to Canva and then simply paste it in. And now that it's pasted in, you want to go ahead and use all these different settings at the top here to edit the way your text looks in a way that you prefer. So edit the text font, the size, the color, you could use any of these just edit it in a way that you like so as you can see this is how i've edited my text and for those of you who may be curious the font i use was comica so now after you've added in your text you need to add in that image the element that will describe what your video is showing to enhance your scene so again we know that we want like a smiley face so in order to get this we're going to go to where it says elements and then in the search bar you want to search for what it is that you're looking for in our case a smiley face and then you're going to click graphics and then then you're going to scroll through the elements and choose the one that you would like to use in your video so i'm going to keep it very simple and use this one and then once you've added in all the elements and all the text for your first scene you're done with the look of your scene the next thing you need to do is add in the voiceover so you're going to go to uploads and then add in the voiceover that we just downloaded from 11 labs and then once you've added in your voiceover in order to add it to your scene you want to ensure that your playhead is at the start and then you're just going to click onto it and bam just like that your audio is nice and added in so from here you're going to just simply readjust the timing of your video so that it is on sync with this so now i know what you're thinking okay monique that's cool but where's the effect <laughs> don't worry i'm getting to it in order to do it it's very simple just follow my steps so the first thing you want to do is come on over to where it says elements and then you need to do a search for that hand, the hand that is writing on the whiteboard. So what you want to search for is this marker in hand and then hit enter. And here instead of graphics, you want to go to where it says photos. Then you're going to go through the different images and select the one that you think will look best. So I'm going to go ahead and simply click onto this one. And now that it's on my scene, I am going to increase the sizing of it so that it will look a little bit better. And then I'm going to bring it to the front. So now that you have your hand in here, you now need to animate the hand to look like it is actually writing on the screen. What you want to do is bring the hand here like before your actual text begins and then click where it says animate. And then you want to click here where it says create animation. And now you just want to scriggle the lines and make it seem like it's writing. This is what I mean. You're literally just going to grab onto it and then you're just going to scriggle like this. Come here, scriggle like this. Easy peasy. You see, look at that. That looked pretty neat, didn't it? And then from here, you can go ahead to adjust the speed if you want it to be way faster or if you want to change the different movement styles. But what I do recommend you do is give it a little bit of a wiggle feature. But when you click onto the wiggle, be sure to double click it and bring the settings all the way down. It's just a very slight wiggle. And now the hand animation done, we now need to animate the text. In order to do it, you're going to click onto the text and then you're going to click animate. And then the one you want to use is typewriter. And then once you've selected typewriter, it's going to open up this setting. What you want to do is now adjust the speed to fit the speed of the handwriting. Now, once you've adjusted it and gotten it close enough, remember if it's not quite fitting, you can always go back and readjust the hand animation as well. And then once you finish that, it should pretty much look like it's pretty much in sync. And now for Mary, you also need to do the same thing for the smiley face. What I would recommend you do is find a random spot in your video that you'd like the image to be drawn in. So I would say maybe about hair. And then what you want to do is split this. So what you want to do is right click and then click split. And now as you can see, you have two different images. But don't worry, it automatically readjusts the text to fit within the first cut. So you don't have to go redo that. Now from in the second one, this is where you'd want to now animate the actual image. Now animating the image follows the same process, it's just slightly different. What you want to do from here is first get rid of the original animations that you did. So for the text, it would already be in. So you're going to click onto the text, click typewriter, and then simply remove animation. And then you're going to do the same thing for the hand. Click onto the hand and then delete path. And now you now have this one without any actual image happening, though it still has its slight wiggle. From here, what you now want to do is align the marker right where the image begins so that you can begin drawing in the image. And then you're going to click where it says animate and then create animation. And then you're going to do the same exact thing. But this time, what you're going to do is just like this motion, like you were just curling up and down. And then that's that. So now we have that in and the wiggle is already there. So we'll keep that there. So the next thing you need to do now is animate the image. So you're going to click on the icon, 
you're going to click animate and then for this one what you want to use is wipe and then once you've clicked on light again you just want to adjust the speed so that it's about the same timing as the hand movement and ensure you have on enter only selected and then once you have that done you can now go ahead and maybe readjust the lens of your videos or your audios again you will have more editing to do but that's the fundamentals of what it takes to create this using the first method now i'm sure you're wondering okay monique like can i see what this looks like of course you can of course you can so this is what it looks like the three steps to being happy that was actually really good i liked it guys what did you think i think that was super okay now that is the first method you want to take when you create those animations but now for those of you who may be thinking okay when it was simple but like don't you have something that may be even simpler of course i do i'm going to show you an even easier way you can do the same exact process and doing it this way will only take you about five clicks of a button so in order to show you this method i've gone ahead and duplicated this first scene that we created because the first thing you would need to do is create your scenery you'd follow the same exact method but here's where it gets different once you have your scene created what you first need to do is download it so in order to download it you're going to click share and then download and then you're going to download it as a png be sure you have the correct page selected and then download now once it's downloaded to your computer what you want to do is come on over to apps and then once in apps you want to do a search for speed paint and then once you've done that you're going to click on to speed paints and now once it's taken you to this page you need to upload a file the file you're going to be uploading is the image of this page that we just downloaded from canva and then once you have your file uploaded what you need to do next is adjust these settings so you're going to keep 60 frames per second and then the sketch drawing you want to adjust it to one second because you want it to happen pretty fast and because we used color and an image you want to do the color fill duration and set it to three seconds you don't want this whole drawing process to take way too long keep it to the minimal settings and then because we have a white background color we're going to keep white and then you want to click add sketching hand effect for the hand and then add fade out effect that just gives it an extra time at the end once you've done that you're going to click animate image and now canva is going to do the animating and the drawing of this for you was that not five clicks i think that was five clicks maybe it was six but that's all it takes that's all you have to do and now in a few seconds later it has gone ahead to add in this video for us so what you want to do now is take this video and adjust it to fit your canvas size and then once you've adjusted it to actually fit the scene you now want to go ahead to adjust the timing of it so click where it says playback speed and then you're going to put it to two times because you want it faster and the last thing after that you'd want to do is cut off the extra space at the end so in order to do this you're going to click where it says this cut icon and then you're going to just simply drag off all this dead space at the end until you see the image is fully formed so even about hair, it's already fully formed so we can stop from hair so tell me wasn't that simple i think that was actually pretty simple so now i'm sure you wondered okay but what does this one look like let's take a look the three steps to being happy see nice and easy nice and simple and that is how easy it is to do this using these two different methods now as you can see they both have their pros and their cons because with this one you can't really adjust what you wanted to bring in first what you wanted to color first it kind of does its own thing if you really just want to have the items pop up and you're not really caring about that then this is the one to go for if you care about the timing of things then you can do it in manually yourself you just do it whichever way you prefer whatever way that you think looks better but one thing i want to also make you guys understand if in these videos you want to create the drawing and then you also want to talk in between it like talk some more what you'd want to do for example for this one you'd want to go ahead to duplicate the page and then you just want to remove all animations so now as you can see it's clear and let's just adjust the hand hair and then you can now extend the length of this so you'll have your image on screen whilst you're talking and now you'd have this extra length that you could use to talk so after the animation is done now i can continue talking about the video so like the three the three steps of being happy when it comes to being happy many people blah 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 blah, blah. okay so that's how you can actually go about creating longer versions of this video making it easier making the content you could do it i believe in you so now that i've shown you the basics be sure to get super creative with this method and have fun with it and just remember that you can target any niche for this but i'll tell you a bit of a secret come closer closer this method works best for videos in the book niche like book reviews anything to do with like books people tend to really love that even for like self-help niches but now that you know how to create faceless whiteboard videos then you can go give it a try if you want to 
And if you want to learn more from me, then you need to check out this other video on my channel.